The New Testament in a Year with Psalms and Proverbs Day 55 Matthew 13 verses 1 to 23 The Parable of the Sower That same day Jesus left the house and went to the lakeside where he sat down to teach. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and sat in it while the crowd stood on the shore. He used the parables to tell them many things. Once there was a man who got out to sow grain. As he scattered the seed in the field, some of it fell along the path, and the birds came up and ate it. Some of it fell on rocky ground, where there was little soil. The seeds soon sprouted, because the soil wasn't deep. But when the sun came up, it burned the young plants. And because the roots had not grown deep enough, the plants soon dried up. Some of the seed fell along thorn bushes, which grew up and choked the plants. But some seeds fell in good soil, and the plants bore grain. Some had 100 grains, others 60, and others 30. And Jesus concluded, Listen then, if you have ears. The purpose of the parables. Then the disciples came to Jesus and asked him, Why do you use parables when you talk to the people? Jesus answered, The knowledge about the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. For the person who has something will be given more, so that he will have more than enough. But the person who has nothing will have taken away from him even the little he has. The reason I use parables in talking to them is that they look, but do not see, and they listen, but do not hear, nor understand. So the prophecy of Isaiah applies to them. This people will listen and listen, but not understand. They will look and look, but not see, because their minds are dull, and they have stopped up their ears and have closed their eyes. Otherwise. Their eyes would see, their ears would hear, their minds would understand, and they would turn to me, says God, and I would heal them. As for you, how fortunate you are! Your eyes see and your ears hear. I assure you that many prophets and many of God's people wanted very much to see what you see, but they could not, and to hear what you hear, but they did not. Jesus explains the parable of the sower. Listen, then, and learn what the parable of the sower means. Those who hear the message about the kingdom but do not understand it are like the seeds that fell along the path. The evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in them. The seeds that fell on rocky ground stand for those who receive the message gladly as soon as they hear it, but it does not sink deep into them, and they don't last long. So when trouble or persecution comes because of the message, they give up at once. The seeds that fell along the thorn bushes stand for those who hear the message, but the worries about this life and the love for riches choke the message, and they do not bear fruit. And the seeds sown in the good soil stand for those who hear the message and understand it. They bear fruit, some as much as 100, others 60, and others 30. Psalm 24, the great king, the world and all that is in it belong to the Lord. The earth and all who live on it are his. He built it on the deep waters beneath the earth and laid its foundations in the ocean depths. Who has the right to go up to the Lord's hill? Who may enter his holy temple? Those who are pure in act and in thought who do not worship idols or make false promises. The Lord will bless them and save them. God will declare them innocent. Such are the people who come to God, who come into the presence of the God of Jacob. Fling wide the gates, open the ancient doors, and the great king will come in. Who is the great king? He is the Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, victorious in battle. Fling wide the gates, open the ancient doors, and the great king will come in. Who is the great king? The triumphant Lord. He is the great king.
Amen.